very nice. I like it. Yeah. Um, who made the video? That's really good. I did it. it took me uh, last week. I did the script on Tuesday. I finished the script on Tuesday. I recorded on Wednesday and then the Thursday. And yeah, it took all week, man. Uh, starting like Tuesday or Wednesday. Very high quality. I like it. Yeah, you thank used, you. Uh, Kaden Live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Completely. There was a couple of bugs in it. I couldn't figure out how to do the pan and zoom of the screen. Um, yeah, it was a long process. But this is uh, what I'm talking about with this video is I want to, you know, I don't have a week to do that. I mean, I, I loved it. It was a good exercise uh, because it also taught me a lot about what the process requires and how we can... Um, basically automate it automate with people <laughs> but i.e we can get a product like this um reliably i mean it's it focuses around the script i mean if you got a tight script that man i i really worked that script i think it came out decent um but yeah it takes a bit of time to do the script and then you got to do the tight edit but i think we can completely um come up with a process for that but you know the trick is uh i'm just kind of educating you a little bit on this but you can do it remotely if you have a, a team of editors all you do is you upload all the video to to youtube and they download it and the local project file allows you to edit after you download that file and then everybody can just share that tiny file it's only a few hundred k but the down the download is from youtube or some massive download site uh, but it can totally allow you to do this remote workflow like the professionals do. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, can you pass this on to anywhere? You post it to your friends? Yeah, I'll definitely share it in my network. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Awesome. So, um, yeah, it's good. It's uh, We got like 15,000 hits on that already on Facebook. I just posted yesterday. So uh, awesome. it's pretty decent. So I'm hoping that we get 12 or 24 people signing up. That would be great. Um, so let's fill you in on what happened. So Shweta didn't didn't appear. She had some confusion about the time or the venue. And then I lost the recording, damn it. Um, because I I was messing with Caden Live last and I changed some settings in the in my vocal screen and it was not set for recording sound. <laughs> Cause what I did was actually I took some videos off the internet, because you can do nice records off the internet using vocal screen so you so you can like for example i did this hack on there's the powtoon which is this cartoon thing and it's got its its logo its branding on it and just do a screenshot of a part of the screen and you cut out the logo it works really well but anyway uh, a little hack okay so let's talk about what we talked about today and that is um Let's focus on a scorecard. I noticed there was a very impressive number on that scorecard for the number of universities you put up there. But I think let's try to focus around the scorecard as the main way to kind of run through our pro project meeting because I think it's really informative. So what I want to do is really quickly just summarize what we went through in a scorecard. So go to right. the st scorecard. Um, I'm pulling it up. <coughs> Okay, got the scorecard. I'm going to edit mode so you can go in there too. Uh, so a few things of what we want to do there. Right, so... Okay, it keeps... I'm going to switch user here. Okay, I switched the tabs. Did you switch them back? Um, not since I've been on here. Um, That's weird. I switched the tags around so that HR general activities are up front because they're the well, bigger... Well, that's how it looks for me. Oh, interesting, because it, it opened up with general recruiting pipeline as the first one. That's weird. my second tab, in my view. Well, that's weird. Maybe it's, maybe it's okay. Like your... Okay, so 
Um, yeah, so this, you see, it's getting more complex and more evolved here, but let's go quickly through it. So for one, we want to shrink up the top columns a little bit. If maybe you can take notes and or you can watch this video, but shrink up the top columns like I started so you can see more of the 12 week. Otherwise, you're scrolling all the way through to the right hand side through many pages when you got that. I also added myself. So the like, for example, column D and G are marching. Um, right. For heart, um, when you, for example, got um, was a couple of. I thought you had the number somewhere, but you got a one here. So OSC Dev Online ads posted. And I so I went to your log. I couldn't find what you were talking about actually. So no, I just I posted on the, the wiki home main page. I just put it right at the top over in the green text box. So it's not like an actual ad on an exterior site, but it's it's a high oh, cool. place. Awesome. Uh, awesome. That's good. Okay. So it would be yeah, just so that, like, for example, with without even communicating, it's transparent. Try to do that where, like, because I looked in your log and I didn't see that. Um, oh, yeah. Um, and, like, I, I could hyperlink it as well. Yeah, yeah. Just do that so um, it's easier. It's easier for everybody to find it. Because I looked at the other one on a general recruiting pipeline. And that was actually pretty cool. I'm looking at this 387. I went left. Target communities identified. Bam. Good job there. So that's what we want. We want basically everything to be as transparent as possible. Because uh, if you go to the target communities identified, you see the number of 387. It's like, whoa, what happened there? And you click on target communities and you see what happened. So that's good. Yep. Uh, cool. Good job on that and then we can start following up on this stuff so for and then for example but on the target individuals identified yeah there i would like to see a link so that we can go bam uh like literally to the point that you don't even need the meetings like you would have the meeting only when it's not transparent what happened right so yep. we can work more effectively together um and that sounds good so i'm going back to hr general activities tab and i organized it with the most prominent product on top and the most prominent product the most important one is new developers uh, yeah. so that I just made on top and then the second one I did interviews posted on YouTube which are really that we have interviewed people um, which is actually what you do in your general recruiting pipeline which is um, you, you have your item numbers um, interview scheduled and interview conducted you have a number 11 which is very fine grained but yeah you have that in there uh so that's good i put it on the front page because that's our like interviews posted means that you did the interview and the relationship between interviews posted and new developers should be about four to one according to current statistics so we can verify that this 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 sheet of data is makes sense for every four interviews we should get a get one person joined in a team okay next number of HR posts what's that N number of HR postings so that um, yeah go ahead oh I was gonna say I don't did I, did I write that one? no I must have put it in there but let's see what that is number of HR postings Ah, okay, okay. No, 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 that's... Okay, I talked about it during the meeting. HR postings log... Okay, that's an absolutely not clear because I couldn't even remember what that was. So this is... What I meant by that is any posting all over the place from forums to networks to private emails, anything where you're okay. doing your outreach. And that's why I started a log to say, okay, let's keep track of that because if we have a number of people working on a team... It's no point, for example, if you po post it on a RepRap forum for a second RepRap forum post to appear there, you know. Um, I mean, it's it doesn't hurt, but uh, we should go for other postings. Because right now we're at the stage where, like, a lot of these things here will be zeros because we're figuring everything out. Uh, right. So we can basically span the net wide. And as we get good at this, we pretty much analyze this spreadsheet here to see which things are returning results. 
So, uh, HR postings, what should we call that? Um, com number of outreach <laughs> instances. I don't know. I, I actually think HR postings is fine. Now. Okay. Once you, Once you know what that is. Sense. Okay. Number of HR postings. Um, all right, we can say all venues. Is that does that clarify yeah, or cool. confuse? I think that's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Or we can just say let's just turn that to all number of all HR postings. Let's just do that so it's neater over there. Okay, let's blow through the rest of this. Um, follow-up calls. So actually, follow-up calls, we found that some things like Indeed.com, they that we cont contacted customer service and they said a lot of those people are actually expecting calls when they submit a, a resume. They're actually wanting you to call them. So we're going to do follow-up calls to certain places as we decide which those places are. And definitely appears that, that Indeed.com wants you to actually call up like be aggressive about following up with people sure. so follow-up calls there uh, and each of these once again should have a link to that just a description of what this is about maybe you can fill those links in after we talk about this um, yep. new dev profiles posted so that's on the OSC dev page definitely you want the OSC devs to be featured um, definitely an important thing so if you click on the OSC dev page only Richard posted himself. We really want to show everybody so it looks like we got faces attached to the effort, which is more personal and better. So, okay. actually, I can share my screen so whenever you seeing seeing where I'm looking. Uh, so here, the HR developers, Richard is the only one. Graph looks nice. Um, Richard is down there. Okay. SMEs successfully recruited. So I talked about that HR strategy where the SMEs get you to other, because they typically have communities, like if we reach out to the open source SMEs, typically have communities. So we want to uh, get those people, like the way I want to format it is, is the 15, mi 15 minutes at the beginning of every, the actual development team meeting, we want to have a, a subject matter expert from somewhere to teach us stuff like Caden Live or some free cat people or whatever WordPress or this or that uh, just all the different skills that we need to make this go forward like 3d printing and universal controller and stuff like that okay uh, that's uh, recruited means recruited to appear well first of all that they agree to be SMEs and the SME is one hour per month whereas the OSC developers are 10 hours per week so the SMEs are people who we have on call to pretty much tap their wisdom because they're high up in the knowledge base of some product or, or some some knowledge point. So we just want a little bit of their time. It's it's a minor, minor commitment, but an important one because it gets critical knowledge flow here. Um, one hour per week. And the, and the thing that uh, whenever we have an SME su successfully recruited, we want to invite them to the actual Monday, 11 a.m., so if we reach out to them, we invite them, and we record their wisdom the first 15 minutes so that our development meeting is actually becomes this cool learning spot where we're learning a lot of the practical skills too. Okay, email templates appears to be self-explanatory. Well, email templates, not really. So there's email templates there, welcome email, regret letter, like all the emails, the standard emails that we use, and it would be recommended that you put them as a, as a canned response in your Gmail. Uh, okay. By the way, uh, let me go to HR log because I actually have a, an agenda for the meeting. So I'm kind of going quickly through the the Monday, April 13 meeting here. So as that loads up. Um, okay, email templates are all the standard responses and things for all the kinds of different situations. So we don't have to retype emails, make them canned responses. How to HR videos recreated? That's going to be like at the end of the the season once we get seasoned at this we can start doing HR training videos not here yet 
Standard oper operating procedures approved and posted to Wiki. Um, that's on the HR protocols page. And you, you'd created that one. And it has got approved protocols, pending protocols, and that's the email templates. So that's what I'm talking about there. Uh, standard operating procedures approved and posted. So we basically discuss them. And then when discussion is done, we just say, hey, is, that's all the hot air around that. Let's just use that. Okay, regrets letter sent. We don't want to have people pile up on our, you know the page there, right? It's the OSC, it's the initial interview page. And, and sorry, initial volunteer application. Um, the link down here, which is the responses spreadsheet on the volunteer application. We don't want to get a, get a big backlog of like greens here, meaning people who have been in the interview process for more than two weeks. I mean, the, the official timeline for doing a, the free cat test is two weeks. So these greens here, they should be disappearing and turning into either dark greens or, or reds, which means they didn't make it. Uh, here, we should have a bunch of greens here. Oh, very cool. So you see, we got two new guys.